Just look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some like. The question is... Where is he now? And what the hell were those wireless doing there? Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. The Lawsman? About what? About your faithful hound for a start. If any four-legged friend's ever done that before, I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is, what happens afterwards? It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill... Right. Let me know if you learn anything. Will do. And you do the same, eh? Jill. Listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. all of the nobles made it out alive. Kupka and his men... They're fun with more than a few. Otto, is now a good time? <clears throat> it's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Ah, oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the curse breakers and our other friends in the west, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? Just now. 
What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria, all the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will you be staying this time? Dunno. A while, most likely. Any road, while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to... Please, oblige her. <sighs> while we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air. Which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the storeroom when you're done. Wait, hold on! Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you on about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little... A storm, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. for coming back to us. You're the glue keeping this place together. Shouldn't you be getting some rest soon? You took your time. I'm a busy man, Mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put me knack to work. I know that I can help the people here, and I want to do it. Well, well, well. If sick could see you now. All right? I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? <sighs> what do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the designs for the stuff I need, and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. <sighs> Where's it start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. I was wondering where you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. 
Here's the list. Think you can find everything on there? This slot. Won't be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment. It's paid. Hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have nought to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you, from Mid. She requires certain tools. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? No. I'll see what I can do. Till I'll bring them over when I'm done. <sighs> My thanks. And mids, no doubt. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. It's all right. Sid has nothing to fear. Jill looked white as a sheet when they brought How do, Master Sid? Hard off. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can. But I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I gladly spare Mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is I ain't got none. I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolph. <laughs> Least I could do. Clive, what brings you to the rest? Our home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there, then.
Ready, go. If it ain't the lad who saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Building a workshop, you say? Well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could, uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care.
That should do it. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Well, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the Blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Oh, it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. That should take care of Mid's little list. Better head back before she thinks of anything else. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? All right, Clive. You've all done then. I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Is there anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. <sighs> That's my good deed for the day done. Let's see how Jill's faring. Jill. Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Carpocrates about Togo. He must have found something. everyone whispering about. Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Torgal. Where did you get him, like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tones? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, 
I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir the Frost Wolf. Now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other... You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers? What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Toggle and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a frost wolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. <laughs> and regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. There you are! I've been looking everywhere for you. Bernard's here. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. It is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm going to work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. Now that that's settled, I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Koopka. Thanks for letting me do this, Clive. I'll pay you back, I promise. We have everything we need to begin work in earnest. And work in earnest... I think I'll wait till Midsome Way is taken to... goes the hunt for Kupka? Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. What? Here? Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, 
I'm a guest. A guest? For your trouble. It was a pleasure, in hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Byron? Clive, my boy! Tap a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here! <laughs> The Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Still, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmechs empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, your highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmechs will withdraw their troops. Theon's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can, and once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? <sighs> Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both... You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, your Radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Dion? Yes, sir.
prepare for battle. But sire... Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp and await my orders. If that is your wish, your radiance, I shall depart at once. Do the astrologers all go? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. So Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. Uncle Byron doing here. Only one way to find out. <laughs>